Baby, it's over. Yeah. Rocking out, baby. I'm a rock star. Hey, hey. Running through my with the come, come. Hey. I thought we were going to the gym. Yeah, come on. I thought we were going to the gym. We need to get our C4s. We do gotta get our C4s. Where's our where's uh you didn't even shut the you didn't even shut the closet light off. You were in Oh, was I? Blame it on, blame it on me. I got these little shorts on, guys. Don't mind. Oh, you up here still playing around? I thought we were going to the gym. I thought we were going to the gym. Don't turn the music on, cause I know how you get. I know you like to play music, but I can't with my YouTube videos. They just, they always playing with me, man. Oh my gosh. How tall are you? Yeah, I know. I didn't move the seat. <laughs> All right, y'all, so about to head to the gym. You already know what time it is, about to head to the gym. Uh, yeah, I still haven't gotten my Jeep back yet, um, but I did get a price. I'm gonna be paying 500, and he said like around like $511 just for like whatever happened to my Jeep. Like, I'm not made of, money does not grow on trees. Like, don't get me wrong, I'm gonna pay it. I'm gonna pay it regardless, but like, that just sucks. Like, I just spent so much money to get that Jeep, and now like there's already things wrong with it. That, that's what I don't know. I just feel like that's that's kind of it's kind of messed up, you know. One step is all I take. Listen, so usually I don't know. Most people that I go to the gym, they don't take it. Some people do. I usually take pre-workout right before I go into the gym. I don't even like these all like that, but you know, I just needed some type of energy and stuff. Uh, it's been a long week for sure. So some type of energy about to go up this down wait about like 30 minutes Go into the gym get a nice little workout in go back to the house and just make something small to eat and then uh, yeah Just chill for the night. I Thought you don't like energy drinks. I don't but I Couldn't find a c4 so this is gonna have to do It's not it's hmm, I don't know. It tastes kind of like a c4 No, c4s are better We pulling up. Yeah, y'all see it Planet Fitness, okay. About to get that, about to get them gains in. About to get them gains in. You ready? I'm ready. You ready? Mm -hmm. Don't be playing me. Don't be playing. You better actually work out too, because I know you <laughs> lifting like 30 pounds. No, I need 100. I, I, 100. Not 100. Shiny on my mind, and I can't understand. Why I look so close? I look, I look good though. Mm. I need to cut my hair. I need to do that little fade thing again. By the time y'all see me in the next vlog, I'm cutting this, bro. Anyways, do y'all think I should do some more reactions? Because I'm, like, skeptical right now. I want to do more reactions. I want to do, like, some reactions to music and stuff for you guys. But at the same time, I'm like, yo, I'm, I'm kind of just rocking with the vlogs and stuff for y'all. So, like, even if I do reactions, I'm still going to do vlogs. Regardless, I'm still going to do vlogs. I just need to know from y'all. Do y'all think I should actually bring back the reactions? Or should I, should I just chill on them and just keep the vlogs for y'all? Like, I need y'all's opinion. Like, this really means a lot. So, right now, I need you to comment down in the comment section below and let me know. Do I, or should I, your boy YC, do more music reactions again? Because if so, we're turning up on them for sure. But if not, let me know. I need y'all's honest opinion. Damn, they should not have all these food places next to the gym. <sighs> That's how they get you. Like, right after you're done with the gym, you're like, oh, I can really go for some food right now. And then boom, now you're stuck. Now you're stuck. But anyways, I'm about to go to the gym. I'll be right back in three, two, one. Listen, guys, I got a boo-boo, y'all. Ow! Oh, bro, this shit is tough. This shit is tough. Listen, I'm so happy. Tell them why I'm happy. Because we're going to pick up your Jeep. Wait, we're going to what? Pick up your Jeep. Let's go. We're about to go pick up my Jeep. Finally, they just called me. Well, they sent me a text message right after we legit left the gym. They sent me a text message saying that my Jeep is complete. Even though I got to drop $500, $600 on whatever they had to do to fix it, as long as it's complete, you know, you just got to look at your car like, like it's your baby. At the end of the day, you have to take, you ever hear that saying, you take care of your car, your car takes care of you. You ever hear that saying? Yeah. If you take care of, whatever you take care of, it takes care of you. So like, you wanna make sure that your car, your truck, whatever you drive, you wanna make sure it's like up to date with everything. Like realistically, it sucks spending money, but you know that in the end, you know, it's gonna, it's gonna get you where you gotta go. Nobody wants to walk, nobody wants to take a bus 24 seven. A lot of people do, but nobody wants to do that 24 seven. If you do, that's, that's fine. That's just, I personally don't. I used to walk all the time. But now that I got my car, yeah, no, I'm ready to just go get my Jeep. So we got 31 minutes, 29, 29 minutes until we uh, pop up um, 
at the shop to go grab my Jeep. And yes, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. It should run so much better. I ain't got to worry about it not turning or this and that, blah, blah, blah. And it was like an electrical problem. I don't know if I told you guys that, but it was like an electrical problem with my Jeep. So anyways, yes, we about to go get it. So I will catch you guys next time you see me. I'll be back in my Jeep. <sighs> Let's go. Let's go. Oh, well, just so you guys know, she was like, I love that you do YouTube and that you're a YouTuber. I love that you make money. Who said that? Are you serious? <laughs> you call, are, did you just call me broke? No, but I'm just saying. Wow. Oh, look at that Jeep behind us. Oh, you can't. It kind of looks like yours, but it's like. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to see it. There's a van behind us. <laughs> Where do you see a Jeep, bro? I can see it. Yeah, I can't see. I see a van, a white van. Anyways, y'all, I'll see y'all in the Jeep. Let's go! Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I am back in the Jeep. Ooh, so glad to have my baby back, y'all. Oh, hate paying that money, but so glad to have my baby back. So I know nothing better go wrong with this again anytime soon, bro. Or I'm gonna be upset. Anyways, headed back to the house. About to go make some dinner. Uh, you guys can chill with us for a little bit while we go make some dinner. And, um,. Yeah, we'll talk to you guys whenever I get back to the house. But I'm so glad to have my D back. Hello? Are you using your blinkers? Yeah, is it not turning on? No, they're not working at all. Wait, did I use my blinkers? Wait, tell me if it works right now. Okay, yeah, it's working. Do the other one? Okay. Yeah, you were using them. <laughs> I thought I was using them. I guess. <laughs> okay, bye. But uh, she's right behind me. I don't know if y'all can see her car. But anyways, let me make sure I'm driving safe. Anyways, uh, yeah, so I don't know. I was like thinking about it. They told me they overpaid me for it. I bought this out like flat out cash. So I'm like, ah, I just don't know. I just don't know. But realistically, I'm probably not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. I just, that is crazy that, that, that you know, a dealership actually reached out to me to buy my Jeep off of me, but. I don't think I can do it at all. You know, my Jeep is already a lifted Jeep. It's nice. I don't know if I showed you guys. I think I did show y'all on YouTube. I'm not sure if I did or not. But anyways, let me stop talking. Let me head back to the house. And then, uh, you know, we'll get dinner started up and stuff. And chat it up with you guys for a second longer. And, uh, yeah. But you already know what time it is, man. I'll see y'all then. What is what? Yo, we in the kitchen and we about to cook. Hey. Going to be making some... Um, fajitas some beef fajitas probably not we're not gonna put it on like no tortilla or anything but you know just throw this in there season it pretty well like something so simple you already got the peppers with it you got the onions with it you got that you know just season it up well and that's what we eat. and then we're gonna make some uh some brown rice with it just to put the brown rice over um i mean under you know the fajitas you know just smash it all together see how it turns out but stay tuned Stay tuned because this shit's about to be fire. And I got the water running and I need to turn it down. We are not chefs whatsoever. We are not chefs. So everything that you see that we're about to do right now, just bear with us. We are not chefs. We're going to be making some simple food and stuff after the gym. We just had a workout. Obviously, you know that. So we're about to get straight into, uh, you know, just, just turn it down. So rice, we don't need a lot of rice. Just get your regular pot. Throw some hot water in there. Have that going. Ooh, yeah. Put about right there just to get it boiling. Fact. So we got that. Now we just need like a. Damn, we don't have like one of them bigger pans, like the real big ones, to like put like the oil in. I don't know if we do. Let's get it nice and heated up. Got your olive oil. Ready? Boom. Can't put that in there. You don't want to, you know, cook the lid. So ready? You just want to, mmm, mmm, get it nice and oily. You want that sh the sizzle in there. I know you'll look like I'm putting too much, but like, bear with me, y'all. Bear with me. Got the knife, peppers. I'm gonna just toss it all in there. It's gonna be simple. It's gonna be simple. Probably, it's probably hot now. All right. Oh my gosh, this shit looks good. Mmm. Oh, it smells so good. It smells so good. You don't make rice, do you? But first, get your onions. Okay. 
Hey, don't get your onions. Take two and go. I really don't want to do that yet until we get to that. Me, I guess you can do it. I guess you can. Even if the rice is done beforehand. All right, y'all. I don't know what just happened here, but that should just shock the heck out of it. We'll just let it, we'll let it ease its way into it. I know once his knee starts falling off, I should actually get out of the lid. Where's the bigger one? Oh, right here. Lid. There you go. Then we ain't gotta worry. We ain't gotta worry. Why not think you don't mind anything about it the first time? You got the flame up and ain't gotta worry about it popping on you. Just until it like thaws out a little bit so it's not like popping everywhere. Cause Lord, you know I'm a clean freak. And you got grease everywhere. You probably can't see it, but oh well, we'll wipe it down until after it's done. Just let it fall out a little bit, warm up, you know. You know we got this. But watch how fire looks out there. See, I'm one of the people like I, you know. The process of cooking for me is sometimes it can be crazy, but the after effect, oh man, looks so good. Looks so good. It smells good. It does smell More good. Stuff good. I should have let this fall out, guys. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I want to get this video done so quick just because like I got a lot to do in the morning. So like, yeah. bear with me though. Bear with me, you know? It's gonna, it's gonna look good after it's done. I think so. <laughs> How's it going? It's going good. Right now, guys, she's having trouble making rice. <laughs> <laughs> she's having trouble making rice. All right. We got this going. We got that going. It's about to be fire, bro. It's about to be fire. Let's go. It's the, it's the main ingredient now. So I'm going to get, get a little close up. Come a little closer and look at this right here. Right here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, we got the steak and onions and peppers going on in there but first now that that's you know closer to getting done we got to get the seasonings so the seasoning we're going to use today you tell me what seasonings you want in it uh steak seasoning steak seasoning okay um both kinds we got the chicken seasoning or steak seasoning there's two kinds of steak seasoning okay we got this right here and we got you want both of these mm -hmm. okay Hopefully that's enough to add a little bit of garlic. You gotta have a little bit of garlic. So we got some garlic, right? We got some Chicago steak seasoning that we're adding to it. And we got some original all-purpose seasoning for a smoky flavor. That's what we're gonna add to it. So let's sizzle it down some. And we're gonna add our seasonings in there. So we're gonna start off with a little bit of garlic. You can, you can zoom in on here real quick. Oh, that wasn't a little bit. Boom. You know? Then we got our Chicago seasoning. You wanna go in there and just, mm. Listen, see, one thing that you guys need to know, the more seasonings that you add, sometimes the better, sometimes the better. <laughs> and last but not least, mm -hmm. we got our all-purpose seasoning. Now you wanna, now that's, this is what's gonna make it enhance. <laughs> That's going to enhance it. Now that, that looks like a lot of seasoning. Now you just move that around up in there. You know, let it sizzle in there. Perfect, perfect. That's about to come out good. Now while the seasoning's in there, let it sit in there for like another mm, two minutes. Not even. Two minutes, not even. Put these back, you know, we don't need these, gotta straighten this up, you know. Boom! Now, oh, you know what would really be good in there? I'm not even gonna lie to you, a little bit of red wine vinegar. Oh my gosh. Not even... Watch, I bet you it enhances the flavor. Just a couple little drips around there. Put that back. Now I'm just gonna mix that up in there too. Mmm, 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 mmm. Now we'll let that sit for like another two minutes. Come over here, check on this. We need, uh, we need a little bit more water. That's like it's cooking fast enough. 
All right, so, so far you guys seen what we got going on here. We have a little bit of steak, peppers and onions going on here, sizzling it up, nice and smoky, just like you like it whenever you're, you know, doing a nice little fresh home cooked meal. And um, then we got the rice. The rice is over here, it's doing its thing too, bubbling up little by little. Still some hardness going on in there, so we're gonna have to wait a little bit till it gets a little bit softer to put on the plates and stuff. We'll be right back um, with Chef YIC and um, my, what do they call it? My side, who, what does the chef have next to them? My person, An assistant? My assistant. <laughs> um, she's doing the rice. Uh, yeah, we'll be back. <laughs> and the rice is... You're funny. Mm -hmm. Plates. Check. Silverware. Check. <clears throat> What's that? Yes. Watch this chef work. And now y'all's like, this dude can't cook worse, bro. This is how chefs do it, you know? First you just. That enough rice? Yeah. You sure? <laughs> yeah. All right. I mean, you know, right. Hey, brown rice is good for you, especially after working out. Oh That's mine. <laughs> hey, hey. I don't care. You know, we don't need no more rice left in the pan. All right. That's that. Now, you know, we're just gonna grab. What can I use? What can I use? Um, right here. Perfect. Perfect. Mix it up a little bit, get it nice and wet, you know. No, you know, just get some onions and peppers in there. Just lay it right over the rice. Lay it right over the rice. Mmm, that should look good. Mmm. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Now, to end it off, gotta hit it one more time with, uh, what is it, what is it? Gotta hit it one more time with this. Mmm. Perfect, perfect. Now, we're gonna need to get a little cup of wine. So, uh, right here. So you just wanna open up this, right? Grab your two cups. Come over to here. Uh, come closer. They didn't see this. They didn't see this. So you want to click this button right here. It's called lockout. Get your ice. You know, get your ice in there. Oh, oh no, we don't want crust. We don't want crust. Oh shit! Okay, just don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. All right, ready? Got your ice ready. All right, now just sit this right here. Boom, now we got some generic, I mean it's still wine, it's not like a big bottle, but uh, so we got this Sutter's Home Sangria or something like that. Now you just come in here, just a little bit for you. You know, just something to sip on while you're, I like to get drunk, okay. <laughs> Perfect, actually I like to sit on this side, so that's your side, that's my side. Your plate, my plate, my fork. Didn't really need another fork. Everything's off on here. Stove's off. That's off. Perfect. Perfect. Let's let's eat. All right. All right. All right. Got the seeds off. There we go. All right. Ready? Gotta say our prayer. This is about to be some fire food. Ready? God is great, God is good. Thank you for our food. We bless each other and fortune in Jesus' name. We all pray. Amen. Amen. Cheers. Cheers to us. Ah, not bad. Alright, time to see what it tastes like. Mix it around in that rice a little bit. Mmm. You get a pepper, you gotta have the pepper to steak. Ah, this is gonna be fire. Mmm. It is really good. Mmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Bro, what do y'all think? How do y'all rate this? Do it look good? Would you actually try the cooking? Mmm. This is really good. It is. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Listen, I want y'all to give us ideas. If there's other things that you want me to cook or want us to try to cook together, just comment down something below. I'll look up the recipe and we'll try to I'll try to chef it up with something else. Now don't mind me. I know it looks like I can't cook based off of the video. But I promise you my food is actually decently good. There's one thing that I want to make um, that I'm really good at making that I feel like would be really cool one day after the gym or just one day in general that I want to make. It's called like, um, like a pineapple chicken bowl. And Lord, I, I feel like that's like one of my best things to make. But I'm going to make it someday. Have you ever tried it? Yes, you did. And it was fire, right? It was fire. You made it for my birthday. Mmm. Mm-hmm. 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 It is really good. I'm not gonna lie. Mm. Yo, that was actually really good. I'm not even gonna lie. Probably got stuff all in my teeth. I'm sorry if I do. But down in uh, the comments, let me know what I should try to make next. Make it a little bit harder or make it easy. Something, preferably something like easy but really good at the same time um but yeah just comment it down below other than that thank y'all for watching the vlog of today and if you haven't checked out the past two vlogs um you know moving into this house or the house tour or the furnished house tour like the walkthrough of everything after is done if you haven't seen the videos definitely go check them out other than that give this video a thumbs up keep showing love to the vlogs they're going to keep coming back to back and like i said she will be doing we will be doing the um the one hot chip challenge real soon again um well she's never tried it i've tried it before and lord i want to i want y'all to see her face i want to be able to see her face so if y'all want um her to do it i need y'all to just show love and let's work our way up to that but you ready for that day no she nervous <laughs> i know you nervous but other than that man i need y'all to give this video a thumbs up love y'all appreciate y'all for watching and i will see y'all in the next vlog you already know what time it is it's your boy yc and we are out let's go